What's going on, guys? It's the Bad Wolf. All right, so keep it out. Take it out the game. All right, so I talked about this lightly, but then I went to look for the video, and I must have not made a specific video directly involving this, so I'm going to break it down detail, step by step. You know what? It might have been in the VIP section. That might be why. So I know I made the video, and I know some people were like, oh, um, I didn't see it or I can't find it. So it might be, I make some videos exclusively for the private VIP members only. For those people who hit the join button and uh, pick up a level that you want to support me monthly, you get access to the members only videos. So as I make them from time to time, you guys get the behind the scenes things. So if in fact that is the case, I'm going to bring it now to the public side. So a really good book, though I don't like part of the title's name, but it is a good book. Title four says your swag, okay? The handbook, okay? Um, this is the one that kind of told me a little bit about this, though I already knew a good chunk of this before reading this. And I'm going to bring you guys the information here. I just have to find... A chapter but what anyway what is this particular video about it's about as this book likes to refer to as <laughs> smoke bomb ninja babies but what does it really mean it really means how do you have a child in or a offspring in the private okay Let's see if i can find it here ah there it is 98. We will use this as reference, but I'm going to give you my version and then I'll give you a little extra about what's in the book. Oh, I mislabeled the page. It should be 97. All right. Or maybe I read it fast. Anyway. Anyway. So for those people who've asked me, would I, knowing what I know now, would I go back and still have my child in the hospital? Actually, we had it in a private location, not even at a hospital. Um, a private, uh, like sub hospital type private agency. Um, would I go back and do it? And do I recommend for you guys to have ninja babies or babies born outside of the system? Oh, um, let me clear my throat. Mm -hmm. So the thing here is understanding that when you have a baby and and I've, and I've already helped this with hundreds of women at this point in time, when you have a your offspring, so much information, I'm trying to bring it all together, in the private, and you have the baby footprint, let me back up. If you truly want to have a private baby, you need to create your own document make like five six copies of this document have friends and witnesses sign this document write up exactly who and what the child is a state citizen known as a uh, floridian or a wisconsinite or new yorker um to your private nation you know if you want to create one um the child is a non-resident living all the birth information i have my own documents you guys can buy you can make your own etc cetera, etc cetera. and if you you can then get it notarized you do not have to but it is good to do that uh you should it should be done right they're they're trying to close the loophole of what we're doing here by saying that if you're going to make that document it should be made right after the child's birth so take your child's own footprint put it on the paper a little thumbprint whatever you want to do a little piece of hair whatever that's your master one never give them for keeps your master one always have a copy because at some point in time they're say, well we don't really accept these natural ones these heirloom types so you have to get one from the state well guess what the state's going to say we'll take whatever natural icky old homemade document that you've made and will corporatize it making them some money because we all know that that one has the qsip on there and the qsip is then traded for the national debt uses collateral with our collect our i was gonna say bill collectors but uh 
our corporate owners, if you will. Okay. So if you're going to have one at the hospital, you have to understand that they're going to not want you and downplay you having the one document called the heirloom is what they call it. It's actually the living document where they take the baby footprint immediately out of the vajayjay. And they're doing it digital now. You want to ask them for that. They're going to probably charge you a hundred bucks cash money. You can't put it on your bill. That's how you know these scumbag hospitals are doing the same thing. They're in on it too. Not all the people there are bad. Just these particular ones who are in on the ruse are a part of the game because the hospital gets a kickback by working with the state because you just brought in, not with the living document, with the footprint. Let's get to that part. They squirrel that one away. The one that they have to provide you is the receipt which is called the, so get the all the actual receipts in the computer, ask for that, that's good, because that can be used too. Then they're gonna issue you what's known as the certificate of the live birth. Well, if it's called certification of what? The live birth, then it means it's not the real live birth document, which is what the baby footprint one is. The certificate of the live birth is the first somewhat official-ish recording of the child or the offspring's living birth. Once that happens, they're going, that's also called the long form. Okay. If you can get it, great. If not, sometimes you have to try to request it and you're going to say, I want all legal information available, including birth, wait, time, signatures, hospital names, all that for legal purposes. In Pennsylvania, who are also a holes sometimes. In, this, in these particular areas who won't give you your certificate of live birth or anything else you've given them back for 108 years after your death. Um, unless you sue them for it, all right? You can sue them and you can get it back, but they really don't want to do that. And it's not going to be fun. When you have the certificate of live birth, they're going to, if you ask for the long form, which is all that information, well, that's the one they have to give you anyway. So what some lady is going to do is sneak back in or slither. Oh, By the way, um, the state of enter your state here, but there's no legal requirement because they can't because otherwise it would be slavery. Says that you need to uh, apply for a birth certificate. Now see the heirloom and the certificate of live birth are already authenticated, which we didn't know that long time ago. By the county, it's de jour and private. Those two you can also make your own and get it um, notarized. But if you, some places are going to want you to have the state version, if you want to have, if you want to bring your child into the public for licenses benefits and privileges that they can take away as you've just made your child into a member of the U.S. corporation or a federalized U.S. citizen, a member on the public side, though the child still has the private side, which shouldn't say child, should say offspring, um, but they have a private side. They always will. This is how they are born. When they're born in the Republic, the private of that state, they are known as then a Wisconsinite, a Floridian, a New Yorker, a Californian, an Ohioan, Michigandan, or whatever, Illinoisan, et cetera. But they're going to tell you, you must, because you checked in there as a U.S. citizen and not a national or a Floridian, you must, there's actually no law, you can actually call them out on that, register your child to the state. Well, that sounds like slavery, unless you choose to do that, which is optional. They'll then take one of your certificate of live births, that icky old document that they made, or the hair of the one, do not give them that. That is the Willy Wonka ticket. And they'll send it off to the state. They'll say, don't worry. The state will bring you back two bright and shiny ones. Do you ever wonder why you can't make a copy of the ones that they provide you? It's because it's an official certificate and it's a bond. It's on bond paper. It's got a bond number, the QCIP on there. It's because you would be doing security fraud. 
You cannot copy those documents because there's a financial value attached to it. Now, all of this, of course, is educational and entertainment purposes for informational purposes only. So be entertained. Do your own research. However, after nearly 40 years of doing this, I kind of learned one or two things, and it might be a reason why multimillionaires hire me in the private to do these things and correct things and all these other things for them. Good saying. So when people are like, well, anyway, I won't get into it, whatever. Don't entertain, uh, you know, small things. So we'll leave it alone. All right. So let's see. What else can I tell you about that? So in order for you to do this, if you're going to go to the hospital and try to not have them give you the birth certificate, you're going to watch these people go from angelic in in view to devils and demons why would you do that you don't know what you're doing you're going to ruin your child why because they all get kickbacks you all get a little extra something something on their checks the hospital gets a huge kickback from the state state of whatever because the state of whatever is going to get a kickback from the federal GOV on the side too, because you're bringing in more people into their jurisdiction. You're bringing in new members, but then yet the hospital charges you for the for. So wait a minute, you're telling me the hospital charges you guys to have the child, but they're getting kickbacks from the state by bringing in new member. Hmm, that sounds kind of um scammy, contracty, commercial. I don't know. Sounds messed up if you ask me. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It's just good business unless you can point out fraud. And remember, they only asked you those things. So when you say, hey, I've got the live birth record with the baby feed print, and I know you can give me paper receipts, and um, I know that you can give me the certificate of live birth. I don't need a birth certificate. I'm good. Because most places do take the certificate of live birth. Not all, but they should. And if not, you can threaten to sue them because there's no law that says you have to get a state-provided birth certificate unless you are claiming that you are a U.S. citizen. So you can reserve your freedoms, rights, and liberties by informing them that due to us being religious, and they can't ask you what religion or this or that. I mean, they they can if they do ask and say, well, that's private and that's a violation of my privacy. I don't have to tell you those things. So whether it's made up that day or a week or whatever, that is your religious freedom. So they'll say, well, you're going to run into trouble and you can't do these things. Oh, we've got something for all of that. Don't you worry, your pretty little head, miss. So they're going to say, "Well, you 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 you're, you're, you don't know what you're doing. You must be watching one of those sovereigns <laughs> video." Yeah. Everybody else has been fine, and we'll get you there. So after you've done that, they're going to they may even threaten you. We're going to call the child protective services. We're going to oh, yeah. if I haven't even sent off my birth certificate, you guys can't even remotely bring child protective services in there because we're not endangering our child or our offspring, it is ours. It is not considered a child. That is a product of the commercialized corporate state. We don't have a contract with you and we are private sector citizens who are practicing our religion under the constitution for the United States of America. So do you want a, a federal lawsuit? And if you can put that in writing with your name on there for legal purposes, then I'll entertain what you have to say. Oh, <laughs> wait. It's okay. Uh, we didn't know you were religious. Go ahead and have a good day. <laughs> so people ask me, would I still do it? This will be my official answer. I probably would not get the birth certificate. I would keep the certificate of live birth like I have in mind, which has been able to get me and do everything for me. However, what are the ins and outs of that? Well, and we don't know yet yet fully, because they don't like to share that with us. But we do know that the QSIP number has a substantial value after it has matured, which is the birth certificate. 
if that is ever fully discovered in the future, you you or you, you and your child or your child, whoever the, has the birth certificate, would be able to correctly cash that in and have a large, substantial amount of credit available. However, I do not personally know the ins and outs of that. People have done things and some have been successful. Some people have never heard anything back. So until I'm given enough pieces, I can't say that I know how to do it. We know that these things exist. We don't know how to access it appropriately. Might take some of you guys out there contacting your, you know, congressman or the hospital or the state, vital statistics and doing more research. But I will say this. It is my belief from the things that I have been told, and I will just say I can't prove all of these things, that uh, if you do figure it out, you will be asked kindly to sign a non-disclosure agreement because that is considered private. I like how that word comes around, back around, but other than not, normally when you mention that, it's, oh, that's a whatever thing, but then when you get so far, then it becomes a thing. Weird. Hmm. I'm so glad this is all education and entertainment. Please don't construe any of this as legal advice because I do not provide legal advice. This is just my personal experiences, okay? In the private. So, but presented in a public platform. So it is what it is. All right. So under religious terms, you have the right to refuse, should you, or in the future request a birth certificate so if you don't take it today you can get it tomorrow or a year or 20 years from now my mom was actually in her late 20s or 30s somewhere in there we'll say early 30s when she got hers because that's when i was born and so she got mine and applied for one for herself because she was born privately in arkansas Okay, in a little town, population of less than 300 people. Actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, her town. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Think of my dad's. He was down from down there, too, and his was the same way. So they had home births. They had Bible records. Like in the uh, Bible, wherever it went, right there. In the old days, people would write the lineage of their family and any new births in the Bible and then give, pass down the Bible to the next generation. Well, you can do that. You can make your own. You can use their form, which is a DS-10. Um, and, of course, the heirloom provided, certificate of live birth. And if you choose to take the ever so untasteful birth certificate issued from the corporation, which is proof of then your child being a recidant, a resident, somebody who recited from the Constitution and then sided with the state's corporation and the federal corporation as a member of theirs, a federalized citizen, federalized U.S. citizen, you can. It's your choice. So some people are like, well, if I don't take that, what about social? You can still apply for a social with a certificate of live birth or other key documents. Now, one of the things you can do is, and people have asked me, would I give my child a social security number? Well, knowing what I know now, sure. But if you didn't want to, you could just get them an EIN, a tax exempt EIN, because I made a video on how to get a tax a domestic tax exempt EIN from the IRS. And by the way, guys, if you're opening up a business, why are you opening it up through the state and then paying the state and the honor of being a sub franchise of there? Go right to the federal government and get it for free. I have heard that they have been changing it a little bit. Somebody told me that they were informed that the government will only let you get one EIN at a time or like her whatever now, which I haven't checked it out myself, but they can't stop you from doing business. But what they're doing is, is from this person, I haven't not vetted this part yet, so I'm just talking aloud, that 
you can only get one online and then if you want another one or others you have to then mail in the ss4 to get that okay just as a heads up i don't know i haven't checked that out yet but as i go forward if that is the case i will bring you as a video just on that um but we'll see i know Trump has like 160 EINs or something crazy like that. I, I have like five or six um, that I utilize for my different needs. Some on the public side, some on the private side, some taxable, some tax exempt. Uh, so that's pretty much it. If you have a offspring, and the reason why I say offspring, because that means living, child is their word, and you are not the informant, you are the now, I was going to use the word parent. You're not a parent. You're not informant. You are the biological mother or father. Those are the words that they don't want you to use because when you use their words and their applications, you're waiving your rights to certain liberties and freedoms with your child. And you're saying, hey, you know what? I am a member of yours. And as that member, I have brought in a new piece, a new tool, a new vessel, a new member to the craft. Totally your choice. This particular channel, all my videos and everything else are for U.S. nationals, nationals, state citizens, nationals of the United States, non-residents, non-resident aliens, private sector citizens, patriots. And anybody who's against that or me and what I'm saying here, then you are a traitor to our country. You guys are more than welcome to leave the channel and to leave our beautiful, God bless America, God bless every American, land of the free and home of the brave. All right, so let's see what the book has to say about it. We're just going to kind of rip through. So if you are serious about giving your very own child of God a free and sovereign status per the Constitution, an American inheritance, consider a home birth or midwife or well, have a birthing plan. Every commercial hospital in America is required, which it's corporate hospital, more like in the U.S., not really America, the, by law, have a birth registrar for the purpose of unsuspecting immigrants. So you're really not even supposed to use that. It's supposed to be for immigrants in the private who happen to have had a birth here, meaning you, us, whoever else. And then there you are. It's it is the registrar's legal duty to offer and force registration, but sometimes they insist it's their duty to register. It's not. It's their duty to register. If you are an immigrant or private and your child was born here and you want the membership, okay, because they can't force you to do anything, they have to have a contract. There's no slavery has been outlawed here, so they can't force you to do anything. So as soon as possible, and ahead of time is better, in writing that you, okay, so you should tell the hospital and them that you do not want your baby's birth to appear in the public state record. And that she must notify the state of your demand. So, yes, you can keep your child, I would say, under religious reasons. Be sure to maintain a perimeter around your baby at all times so they don't try to sneak him or her off and stab them in the foot or put off the, you know, the circumcision, which I do recommend getting your child circumcised, though, still yet. Um, because, I mean, first of all, doggy doggy penis is really gross looking and for health and cleanliness reasons it's better to have that still yet done all right so the mother and father or trusted relative should stay with the child as long as he or she is in the hospital do not let the social worker and the birth registrar convince you to sign any of those documents now this is what they're saying um but that's what they're trying to do they're trying to get you to label in because they all get kickbacks okay um Definitely nothing with the social worker. The registrar for the certificate of live birth. Yes, birth certificate. Uh, not so much. Be aware of what you're signing. And if you're not sure, sign it with your name, but you put UCC 1-308 on there. Okay? They are only required by law to offer their services, birth and social security registration. They are not required to force their services on new parents new biological uh, uh, individual, private individuals, because it's fraud to register a fictitious name without the, your consent. Otherwise, you can sue them. So now he's going to go into how 
you basically can use your religious ability, which everybody has, to basically not even put a name on any of the documents. So this is a complete private thing. I'm not condoning that. I'm still saying, you know, give them a name for the heirloom, the baby footprint one, and the certificate of live birth, and get the receipt of the transaction, get all the medical records, get multiple copies if possible. He's saying don't even give them any of that. Tell them that by your, your religious reasonings and beliefs that you need seven days to think about it, and that after those seven days, just don't communicate with them anymore because you've, you've gotten in there, gotten your child, and you're out of there. So it says the original birth record with footprints, they will call as a souvenir or a heirloom. He said, this is not a toy or a keepsake. This is the actual hospital proof of your nativity. Nativity, nature, natural, native, and will get you a passport without a birth certificate. So you can get them and, they, and, the, and the Department of State will return it. Claim for title... Claim for the life document or claim of life document. You can create your own. He goes in to talk about that. Put it in the newspaper. If the hospital does not give you a complimentary birth record with the baby footprints on there, politely ask for the letter of hospital letterhead for the proof of birth. That states the time and the date of the baby's footprint, prints, signature, birth weight time, all the other good, good jazzy stuff. The entire medical record can be gotten from the hospital. That can also be used. The Bible record can also be used. Letters can also be used from grandmother, helping to prove that. Underneath what they call the No Child Left Behind Act, you have to be careful about this in public schools because they... Because that act requires schools to give your child's name to the military. So if you can see that in there, opt out. UCC 1-308. I'm not registering my child to any acts. We are private. But we have the right as nationals to not be denied under 8 U.S.C. 1503, denial of rights and privileges of a national. If you're going to get the Social Security, I would send it in. This is not legal advice. I would check off number on number five, other, and I would have a explanatory statement or affidavit of nationality. I would use section 5.23 of the GPO Styles Manual. I would recite code 8 USC 110122B or 8 USC 1401. and add that, attach it to the document. Now he goes on to talk about some other stuff here that he, oh, this is a different section, but he doesn't know what, this part, he, he's construing some other things and tying some things together, but it's a different whole section in the book. Um, everybody can make their own judgments about things, but uh, the book, it's a pretty good read. Um, he's got multiple ones. Title four says your swag. Get off Amazon. Um, I do not get compensated for it, so this is all um, free use. And uh, maybe I'll make some more videos on some of the other good information in here. He does have some things that I differ about. He doesn't state some proof to some of his claims and some of the more, you know, things that we'll say that are being construed out there. Other things he does, I can't, in good honesty, talk about this or that without some proof or some codes um, at some of the things he's talking about. But, especially because we'll just say I know a little bit more than what he knows in some aspects, which does happen out there in the world. This is what it is. I'd never have claimed to know everything. So to wrap it all up, that's how you have a baby in the private. You definitely want to get the heirloom one. They're going to make you pay for that out of pocket in cash usually or something like that separately than your bill. They will not add it onto your bill for the heirloom or the souvenir. I like how they try to downplay it. 
and the suckers are cock. Um, but uh, make your own, get any of those. But if you if you choose to do it, it does not mean that they cannot still yet have a private side. It means that they will just have to work a little bit harder to have a private side. At the same time, they may have to work a little bit harder because some places may not like the souvenir, baby foot, a homemade one, or the C or the COLB or transcripts. But if you force or push the issue forward and say, well, I, I need to talk to the legal department on this. Show me the law that says this is an unacceptable document. Show me where it says they cannot accept an original document, which original means something you made in private. There you go. So that's it, guys. That's how you have a ninja baby. Okay, if you if you so desire decide to do that, totally optional. Does not mean you need to do this video or any of the other videos on here to be private and to be pre. You can create those things moving forward from right here. All right, guys. That's basically about it. I'm gonna make a couple more videos, maybe one more, and then I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. And uh, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Once again, don't forget to support, hit the bell, like, notify, if you choose to. Uh, Black Side 32 has got all the goodies. If you want to know how to like, you know, uh, if you need help with food, rent, whatever else, you need to trust all those packets and pro products, government agent um, uh, 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 benefits, programs i've got a ton of them on blacksite32.com and don't forget to subscribe on blacksite32.com as well we've had half a million people come through and we do not have nearly that many people on the newsletter so sign up and subscribe for the newsletter and do that remember my backup channel on youtube is the bad wolf media channel i'm also on tiktok and all the various other platforms but tiktok i think i'm under where i talk about everything a little i get a little bit more jazzy on there um it's under at or uh james c love it or the bad wolf you'll be able to find me on there not hard to find all right guys other than that that's it go and enjoy something fun and stimulating and worthwhile something equity take care stay healthy and i'll talk to you guys later and thank you guys for all the support and let's get to 100,000 subscribers after that i don't care but let's just hit that milestone i mean we're doing good after that I, it'll be like freaking forever before we hit anything major but at a hundred thousand that's when i get the the button from youtube so let's make that happen after that i don't care it's it's whatever but let's get there first all right guys i'll talk to you later thank you guys for watching and always if you guys need a consultation on this video or other things a little custom walk through or you had a unique scenario you think i might be able to help then set up a consultation keep in mind guys I'm usually booked between two and three weeks out at this point in time. So keep that in mind before doing anything, okay? Be patient and we'll get there, all right? There's only one of me, all right? But until I make you guys one of me and then we can get more things done together. The American way. God bless America. God bless you guys. Take care. I'll talk to you later.